Because of the increasing amount of urbanization in Bangkok, traffic has become unbearable to cope with for those that have urgent places to go to. That is why the use of motorcycle taxi has increased more and more over the years that even Thai government had to accept it. The year 2014 was a change for motorcycle taxi drivers, with every new driver registering to local authorities or receiving the new regulations that they can still stick with the bright orange uniforms, but the Department of Land Transport will universally put a bright green badge bearing the driver's name and identification code on the back of their jacket. In the past, Thai officers required motorcycle taxi drivers to pay them money in order to operate, but that has vanished over the years, as this type of transportation is required more and more. The Bangkok Metropolitan Association estimates that there are 5,400 motorcycle taxi stops across Bangkok, 2,339 of them located on roads, 1,779 on private land, and 1,335 on street pavements. It is crazy to think that they are still operate risking their lives to possibly getting hit by someone, or even possibly staying in the city's contamination for long periods of time, a day just to get a passenger first to their destination. So why is it that motorcycle taxis are growing so much and not dropping? I do like this job. There is freedom and decent revenue. I also chose this job because my friends and family recommended it. I don't have any holidays. I drive until 10 p.m. Depends on the distance. I will charge 25 baht if it is longer and 20 around here. I can choose my own workplace. I chose this place because there are many people here. Some people just pay and walk away even though it is a smaller amount. On May 2017, a survey from the World Health Organization said that 5,500 motorcycle riders die each year. That equates to almost 15 deaths daily, and the number is getting higher, not lower. Yet, only 53% of motorcycle taxi drivers in Thailand wear helmets, and only 19% of the pillion passengers wear them. There are some risks to this work. Once a person was getting out of a taxi without watching the road and I crashed into the door. So regardless of all the statistics against the death on the road for Thailand, that being motorcycles, these so-called orange best drivers aren't going anywhere. Bangkok is inevitably going to become more propense to traffic, making this type of movement more known and accepted, even with the huge risks that come with it.